Across the way is Poseidon's Fury, a combination show and walkthrough attraction, so hope you're wearing your comfy shoes. The original version of this attraction had Poseidon as a scary, monstrous villain defeated by Zeus, hence, you know, his fury, but they later rebooted it so that Poseidon is a good god who looks vaguely like Kevin Murphy fighting the evil Darkanon whose name totally wasn't pulled out of his ass. But first we enter a room where we stand around and meet our guide, an assistant with the gender neutral name of Taylor. Taylor assists the professor who has gone missing on an excavation. Then we discover a secret ancient message on the walls written in convenient English. <laughs> All this is true because it rhymes. The professor radios in to tell us to get out of there, but he's interrupted by a mysterious, scary voice. Who has awakened my secret speak? Uh, it is I, Aladdin. You search for your master. Yoda? I get it. Then a secret door opens. We enter another room we have to stand in that has no windows and no doors. You should have heeded your master and escaped while you could. Now you will never leave! Does this evil voice have any lines that aren't paraphrasing the Cave of Wonders? Now you will never again see the light of And evil voice offers Taylor this chilling challenge to find Poseidon's trident. And he and or she does accidentally. Oh, those wacky tailors. Then we have a meeting with the goddess who's totally not Madame Leota, and she tells us she can't help us escape back. There's no turning back now. So we have to go deeper. Are you brave enough to make the passage under? Are you a bad enough dude to rescue the Poseidon? Totally not Madame Leota. Then we walk through this actually super cool tunnel of water and end up in our final room and we get a far less evil mysterious voice. Follow my voice and bring that to me. Fear not, for I am- Poseidon! At last, I have waited centuries for this moment. Now I will destroy you, them, and your precious trident. What's that for? opens up to reveal a water projection and pyrotechnic special effects show that's neat. It's not seamless by any means. The edges of the projection bear no relationship to any borders we see, so it's just a widescreen box floating in the middle of the waterfall, but it's still a neat show. This battle began a thousand years ago! 10,014? Darkanon fights Poseidon, and there's splashes and flames and everything you've come to expect from a theme park effects show. I want to say return to your world! So if you throw up on Hulk, don't sue Universal, sue the Greek Pantheon. Yes, it's sure to redefine modern theology as we know it. Sorry I couldn't be there in person, but Pokemon X isn't going to play itself. 